This video is going to go over creating reports for a single version test. So uh, we've just finished with the grade wizard and now we have the option to look at reports. The first report I'm going to look at is the condensed test report. Uh, clicking here, this has mean, median, standard deviation, and for all the question it shows the distribution of responses, uh, point by serial if it's applicable. And I want to save this as a PDF, so I'm going to do file, export, report. I'm going to make sure PDF is selected here and click on export. And then um, inside my test folder, I'm just going to create a, another folder called reports. And you can organize this however you want. But inside that, I'm going to save my condensed test report. And I'm just going to double check that by going into my test folder. So there's the reports folder that I created. And now we have a PDF of this report. So that worked. I'm going to go up to Remark and look at a few other reports. So the next one is the item analysis report. And it's got similar information to the last report, but it also has this um, bar graph that's very easy to quickly identify questions where there were um, poor responses. So either um, students had a lot of trouble with them, or it's also a good way to identify if your key was incorrect. So again, if you want to save this as a PDF, it's file, export, report, and then the same process. Uh, another report that we need is the student response report. Click on that. And that should be sorted by, these are the last four digits of the student ID. Um, the first time you create it, it probably won't be sorted, so you need to go to Report Properties and Sort Students. Just make sure uh, Respondent ID is selected. The first time you create the report, it'll probably be unsorted. So Respondent ID and OK. And this report shows uh, their response on every single question. Green is correct, red is incorrect. The answer key is at the top. And this prints fine in black and white. It comes in with a, a light gray and a dark gray that's still readable. And then the last uh, report is the class frequency distribution report, which has a histogram. It doesn't look very good on this test because there were only a few responses. Um, but again, you can export that to PDF. We're also going to need a uh, Excel export. So we're going I'm um, going to go to File, Export, Numeric Data and Results. And I'm going to go to my test folder again. And I'm just going to call this uh, Excel Export. The save type is going to be Excel. You can select either version. I'm going to go with the older version. And then you have to give it a worksheet name. This can be anything, so I'm just going to call it Data. Click OK. So if that exports, we go uh, back into our test folder. I'm going to open up that Excel that I just created. It's got uh, your first four digits and last four digits of the ID, the name, the test version. There's only one version in this case. And then it actually shows all the question responses for each student as well. So uh, 1 is equal to A, 2 is equal to B. And then starting with question 11, you can see these are all negative 1s, which negative 1 stands for blank. Um, which these should be blank because they weren't on the test. So I'm just going to select question 11 all the way to the right through question 100 and right click and delete those. And if we come back to this, so now we've just got question 1 through 10 and the grade and percent as well as the raw score. So that's the format that we want it in. So I'm just going to save this and exit. And in Remark, that's the last thing that we need to do. So I can now close this and export, uh, exit Remark as well.